Yo, what's good, everybody? Back with another video. It's your girl, Motor Goat, man. I know I've been missing, but I'm back with that heat. I'm back to drop another video on y'all. This is something that I found real itch interesting, y'all, because most of the times, most people like to do gradients, right? And I couldn't, for the love of God, find out how to make a gradient go across all... Um, Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Say, for instance, we got... um, You select over here, you select the... um just any shape right i'm drawing a rectangle and then i'm gonna draw a eclipse right or circle however you want to say it and let's just change these colors for the sake of this tutorial change to a pink and then you got a letter right so i just pick this letter whatever letter that is i think it's an a okay it's an a now i want my gradient to go across all all these things not individually all of them right so this is what usually i do i say oh snap okay i need to a gradient so i automatically go to the gradient tool and try to drag across nothing happens go over here and be like oh you know okay i got a little gradient but the gradient ain't doing nothing you know it's going across individually and, and the a is not going across at all because i don't know so i so I control Z that and I take all this and I drag it down to see what's going on. And usually I press shift control uh, O so I can outline that A and then I do the gradient tool and try to drag it back across. It won't do it. And I do it like this. I say, okay, the A is playing along now, but I still have gradients on each element and I don't want that. So I'm going to delete that. And let me show you how to do it. This is what we don't, we're not doing, right? Just make another copy of this. We're not treating this as a group. So say, say for instance, we want this whole thing to be a group because we want the gradient across the whole thing. Think about that, right? So you got an edible text. You got two shapes, and you select them all, and you press Control G, and you put that puppy in a group. But let me click out of this so you know where it's at. But you need to 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 mess with this as a group. You really can't do nothing. It's, even if you did have it in a group and you still press the gradient tool and you come over here, it's still not working right. It's still working like, like it worked before. So I'm going to control Z. And now I'm going to go up to window and I'm going to go to the appearance panel. I've come to realize a lot of stuff happens in the appearance panel, y'all. So you go to the appearance panel and in your appearance panel, you have two boxes down here. One look hollow, one look filled. That's your stroke and that's your field. So we're going to add a field on there, right? So a field filled everything that was in that group. Okay. So now you go to your group, uh, your field, your group field and your appearance panel, and you drop down field and then you select whatever gradient you want. This comes, uh, I think illustrator comes with a default gradient of orange, but you can make any gr uh, gradient you want. You just put it in your swatch panel. All right. So orange, yellow, and look at that. It went across the whole, uh, group of elements. Now, if I want to take one of this, say, if, for instance, I want this A over here and I want it to be yellow instead of orange, then I will take my selection tool, which is the white tool, or you can press A for selection tool and grab the one that you want, press V so you can put a, a bounding box around it and you could drag it. And I want you to take a look at what it does when I drag it. Now, it's orange over here. It's Well, it's kind of orange over here, but it's yellow, more yellow. Now, you could drag it and it changes color. It changes color. Now it's yellow. Now this this circle is the one that's orange. All right. Selection tool, grab it, and you come back across of it, and it's kind of getting oranger and oranger and oranger and oranger and oranger. Uh, and you can do that with the, any of the things. You just grab it, uh, with your selection, your um, select uh direct selection tool, and then just with your selection tool, grab it and just pull it where it needs to be. I think I think that was real cool, and I think that was a way that um that took me forever to learn, and I don't know why I just got tired of um uh, upsetting myself doing everything I can, and then when I finally get it, I forget about how I did it and why I did it and how, which way I did it. But that is how you make gradients go from one end to the other end, uh, without uh messing up your edible uh your edible uh text, so you can still edit your text. Matter of fact, let me let me prove that to you again. Let me go shift control G, group everything, 
go to the appearance panel. Uh, let's see. Control, shift, control, G. Oh, control, G. Sorry. Control, G. Go to appearance panel. Put another gradient on there. Let's see. I just want to prove to y'all that you can still edit this text. You can double tap. You can get in that text. And you can still edit it. All right. And that's pretty cool to me, man. But it's the next video, y'all. Stay tuned. Thank you for still sticking around. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop some heat on you. And uh, let me know in the comments what, what you're struggling with in uh, Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop or Premiere. Or we can get down to uh, After Effects. I don't dibble and dabble in there too much. But uh, till next time, y'all hold it down.